the mare. We talked about the crowd so early in the day that were thronging around her, waiting to see it. The great mare's about to come in. Just listen to that. What are they chanting? Don't, don't speak. Debbie. Has any owner ever been cheated into a mounting yard ever? I don't know. But it, it just, I, don't, I don't know what to do. It's not me. It's this horse. It's Winks. Look at her now as a seven-year-old. Not only is it remarkable uh, the longevity and the consistency that she's got, but she's really filled out into a big, strong mess. If they go slow, she can sprint. She's too good. If they go fast, she's the best 2,000-metre horse in the world. Bring it on. Whatever happens in the next two minutes, it has to be extraordinary. They're set for the Cox Plate. Argento a little bit edgy. They're ready, racing. Six began beautifully. Dargento towards the inside began well. Kingsville dreams out the back after a few strides. Out of the straight, 1,600 metres to run. Dargento in front by three quarters of a length in battle. And they were followed by Winks, who's got a lovely position at the moment. Kingsville dreams going to be pulled up. Kingsville dream is out of the race. 1,250 metres to go, so already some early drama. 600 metres to go in the Cox Plate. Rostropovich just in front of Dargento. Ben Battle now Bowman gets moving on Winks. She's only a length and a half to two lengths off the lead. Rostropovich just in front of Dargento, but here she comes and the valley roars. Winks on the outside, moves up, takes the lead from Ben Battle. Then Rostropovich and Dargento into the straight of the 200 metres. It's Winks in front by a lead. Ben Battle's going with her. Winks three quarters, Ben Battle. Winks is staving off Ben Battle. Come of the hour, come of the legend. Greatness. Winks has done That's how it ends, eh? That's how it finishes. Mooney Valley's found its Mona Lisa. She really is priceless, isn't she? The electricity that came through my body when I turned into the home straight just then was something that I guess I only get to feel. We're all so lucky to come across such an amazing athlete for weeks. All the great jobs. Not just the weeks. But even just all that. The media, the fans. It's just gotten to a whole new level thanks to it. What it... We're so proud to be a part of sporting history in Australia with this wonderful horse. Ah, oh, to relive him. Huey has just joined us. Chris has been standing here, Huey, with me reliving it and stuff you hadn't seen before, Chris, eh? Yeah, some of those shots, even Huey going into the barriers, coming out in slow motion and the, the, the clarity of the vision and you can see the emotion on Huey's face and, and even the horse, you can see her winking and we don't get to see any of that. Everything's just a blur on race day, so... Yeah, that was quite refreshing to watch. You've had a good start today, Huey. Well done. You're doing great things. But that whole that whole day, I mean, is it a bit of a blur? Um, how does it sort of clarity-wise for both of you? Well, for me personally, I honestly haven't looked back at much vision from the day. It's been a, a week of just uh, regrouping for the huge week at Flemington. And I just uh, said to Chris Simons as we pulled up on rainy air, I said, look, um, you know, Winks one week, uh, Flemington and the Lexus Melbourne Cup Carnival the next week. So, look, just on cloud nine, but to think what this amazing mare has been able to achieve at the level she has um, for so long, and she's captured the heart uh, of every Australian, and, you know, it's just such an honour to be such an integral part of her career. The wonderful thing for us, not only we love the mayor, but we've got to know you guys and your families, and you know, Stephanie in your case, Christian in your place, and then the extended families, and just their emotion after the race, and just that love between all of you, it's beautiful for us. It's something that it gets, it gets everybody so on edge, and the emotions of not expecting to win, but more expecting of, of one day that it may not be there, the same as it's been the one before, but... When that um, 100 metres short of the post this time, it was it was a surreal feeling, and you can see Christine, Steph, and everybody with us, the owners, the strappers, and even the punters and the and the people in the crowd. They just that sense of relief. Mum and Dad, there, Mandy and Jim, it's just great stuff. And Huey, it, that's your extended family. And then we go beyond that. Everywhere any of us that know racing walk these days, what do you think of Winks? What time shot? The blue and white at the ground last week. Just, it's just beautiful. The well, whole, it's like Farlat must have been. Well, you know? One of the most <laughs> unique experiences for me was coming out onto the track and obviously a horse race or, race or any sporting event 
you, you've got at the very least two teams. But on this day, walking out through the tunnel on Winks, every single person, dare I say it, even the opposition, <laughs> are there to watch Winks and appreciate her for what she is and uh, coming around that home bend and the roar that the crowd went as one. Uh, it, it nearly blew me off the horse, and I'll say that in sincerity. And it's a it's a moment in racing that I'll just in life that will live with me for the rest of it.